so hello and welcome back guys so guys in today's video i will teach you how to easily make a rock paper scissors command for your discord bot in minutes so guys i'm going to use this package called discord rock paper scissors and don't worry i am the one who created this so it is totally safe if you trust me of course and guess what there is a typo in here but don't worry i will fix it anyways you just have to follow what i'm doing you don't have to care about any damn thing you just have to use this command i'm going to type it on the screen or i'm going to put put it in the description too so guys then open your visual studio code and just type this command and press enter so guys our thing is downloaded the package now we just have to create a command so guys it will be in general command let's name it rps.js and of course we are just going to yoink this part from here and just paste it so guys it will be really simple and easy command and let me just name it real quick and the description will be like what will be the description play this game this game i guess and instead of this i should just type rock paper scissor because typing this is quite stupid here anyways now what to do well now we have to actually make the game so guys first of all we are going to reply to the user that the game is started so guys do not worry we don't have to code much stuff we just have to do const rps is equals to require and the name is discord rock paper scissor so this is our rock paper scissor class so now we have to create a game we will do it by const game is equals to new rps bam and guys this is it this is the basic game you can make modifications i will show you how to make modifications too but first of all we will start with the normal thing so by the way we need an we need to add an option it will be the user option because we should be we should allow the users to play in duo mode all right it is not required it is optional so let's do optional and name description all right the type will be user type so i'm just going to pass six and name will be if name will be user and in description let's just put mention a uh, user so first of all we will do uh, let's add some checks cons user is equals to interaction dot options dot get user and the uh, thing name is use things name is user and terminate so guys this user should be equal to this name all right and now first we have two options if user is not provided we are just going to do the solo mode it will be game dot solo bam and the uh, instead of message we are just going to provide the interaction and in client we will just provide this client all right it is quite simple and let me check one thing okay so now what we have to do is we have to do the so duo mode thing we will do this by game dot duo and we will provide the interaction and the second user so guys before this is it we with this thing will work but just for surety let's do if user dot user well if user dot bot is equals to true or we can just do like this then we are going to do one thing return interaction dot added reply content will be uh content will be you cannot play the game the game with bots all right this is it let's just do no dot and it should work i think it will work let's just go for it i hope we, we will not get tracked because that will be really weird so let's go on bots where is it okay there is the bot thing yeah i i already tested all of this because dude last time i got dragged by this thing all right dude why do i get dragged every time okay the, my bad my bad it is because the user was null i let me do this if user all right guys i made a bit of changes in the visual studio code thing because if user is there and if user dot bot this means if user is provided and user user is in bot to then do this my bad well because when user is not there we just get a null property and we cannot read any property on null well probably you guys know this already because i hope you know javascript otherwise it will be a bit stupid so guys i just click on scissor and bot replied with this and we got this thing so guys if you are thinking that like shishui this nerd chose thing and these things are really stupid and weird we don't like that so guys don't worry about that you can change these things very easily let me open my visual studio code thing again do damn stupid sorry guys cut all right so guys now we are going to test how to do 
rock paper scissors thing i mean how to I mean, now we are going to test if it is working so we will just do rock paper scissors and press enter bam we got this we choose paper and let's see you, dude why do you choose the same thing anyways this is the draw and ending thing so guys if you are thinking these replies are weird or you don't like them don't worry you can change them very easily just by following me so now you have to do like this so here you see we are creating a new game we can just give them some new options so first of all let's do this well ready message so guys the ready message is the message which bot shows when it is in duo mode thing let me do this nerds choose your move dude i cannot type your move in the dms and let's see end title so end title will be like this winner won the dang game and uh, let me do one more thing well by the way this winner will be auto replaced by the name of the real winner so we will do few more things we do not need well by the way guys you can change the colors you can change all of these embed color but i don't want to change the colors i'm just showing you the things you can do and we can change the description to where is this where is that and description so we will just do winner is the winner slash and loser is the loser by the way let's do this here and dude if you want to get the documentation for all of this thing you can simply get it here let me show you on google chrome the link is provided here by the way ignore this part you have to cut that out i forgot to cut that in the readme i will do that later anyways these are the options and you can use these properties like player 1 in the draw in the draw thing and player 2 and player 1 move player 2 move and the winner move lot of things you can do lots and lots of customization any time anywhere and well you can see all of these options right here right so this is it and if you want to know more about this package you can message me feel free to do so and thanks a lot for watching but before going i will just show you the proof that these things get changed and let me do this by doing this let's let's just do let's just start the code wait a sec let me show you the visual studio code no dot and let's open the discord and let me show you the discord screen all right the bot is up we have to run the command slash rock paper scissor bang let's see see uh, what do what do we have to see man all right well dude let me do it once more let let me get a real victory then you will be able to see the custom reply dude stop ending with a draw man what is wrong with you why do i just keep getting draws why okay guys we finally okay we didn't typo but you can see the description changed i lost the game that's why it said tu who is the loser and here it changed the winner to crazy bot and by the way don't think that it is the code error it is just our typo we did in the description let me show you let me show you let me open the visual studio code see it is the typo here but you can just fix it by doing winner and anyways you can read the docs for more information this is it for the rock paper scissors command if you need any help feel free to come on our discord server thanks a lot for watching next video will be on probably tic tac toe game so bye peace out